Right, what is going on here is all thanks to Michael McCarthy. We have him to thank for something that I'm going to try and do where I said I wouldn't intervene when it came to my Paphio Pedalum No ID. In a video, I went into detail as to why some slipper orchids, mainly Paphio Pedalums, have the tendency to grow too high with the consequence of the roots not finding the media straight away and they will fail. Now, seeing as my Paphio Pedalum is a no ID, it's a commercial one, yes i want to take care of her no i do not want to lose this orchid but i had no intentions of intervening however here we are when it comes to a comment that gives some inspiration and that i haven't actually seen done before i wanted to give it a go so my mind has been percolating and what i'm doing here is carving out some form of a sleeve i don't know if this is going to work but we are going to go through it step by step and then see what happens It is possible I'm already way too late for this because the roots are not looking great at all considering how they looked a couple of weeks ago when I explained why this happens in that video. So I'm not going to say do this to make your roots grow, but I'm going to at this point say try this and see if your roots grow. I have opted for a plastic sleeve. I just cut it out from the smallest little bottle that I have. Alternatively though, I'm sure it works with a paper roll as well. So this is from the inside of a toilet paper that you could then cut to size as well. The reason I'm not going with this is because I don't want to endanger any rot setting in with new growths that are growing very, very close to this growth. That is clearly bolting from the normal level of the rhizome. And you can see here, I've got another growth. They should all be down there but anyway that's why i'm not using this because what i'm going to do is stuff my little sleeve here full of sphagnum moss and that needs to be kept damp at all times as i am heading into winter the conditions are not going to be as favorable for me to have a lot of dampness around the bottom of a structure while new growths are trying to grow elsewhere so for that reason i'm going with plastic However, if you have beautiful airflow, consistent nice temperatures where rot isn't an issue, I believe a nice damp toilet paper roll that always has sphagnum moss in it, that will work as well and eventually it'll just fall apart and you can take it off and then the idea being cut the growth, pot it up with already nice roots growing. But in order for me to achieve what I'm trying to do, first of all, I have decided I'm going to take the lower leaves off just so that I can expose the stem. And I can see that another new growth is trying to grow at the base there, which is annoying. <laughs> Very welcome under normal circumstances, but not for this. Ah, we have a root here. Let's see if we can encourage that to grow. So yeah, I'm trying to get to this leaf up here. Maybe just keep the leaves that are really at the top. Expose as much of the stem as possible. So again, I have never done this before. So what I'm doing is going by what I think will work. But it will be interesting to see how this works out in the months to come. My conditions notwithstanding could prove this to be a fail, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. So you can see I've exposed quite a bit of the stem and <clears throat> new growth right here. I wonder if I want to take these off as well. Maybe I'll just take this leaf right here just to at least allow for some airflow around this area, which is going to be quite damp for quite some time. So you seeing any damage on my path leaves? That is because I had thrips. Uh, they're taken care of. Now it just looks a little bit nasty. Anyway, here's the theory. Okay. A sleeve goes around. We stuff it with sphagnum moss and we keep the sphagnum moss damp. Roots will grow. Maybe they'll reach the media, maybe not. But once they're long enough, the stem can be cut off and the fan can be potted up. However, you saw how huge my sleeve is around there. I would like to narrow that down a little bit. 
So I'm going to cut a chunk off and see if we're then at the right length. My mind is already thinking, what am I going to do? How am I going to show this? How am I going to explain myself? <laughs> and I'm bang straight into the video. My apologies. It's good to have you. I appreciate that you're here. And if you're already super entertained by this idea, <laughs> would you give this video a like? Just, you know, A for effort. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And then guess what? If you have not subscribed to the channel and you want to follow the progress of this orchid and 300 plus other orchids that are all around the patio and now unfortunately some are in the indoor grow space, please consider subscribing. Take a moment, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out with the growth of the channel and the support is greatly appreciated. So you see, there we go. That's kind of how I like it. I would like to have it that narrow. So I'm just going to cut another smidge off. So yeah. I'm going to leave this one little growth to hopefully develop. I hope you can see that. Let me turn it a little bit more. There's one there. And you see that one there? I may lose this one. It's possible that this fan right here, this lead, is trying to grow these two new growths because it's recognizing this fan. There is no hope for it unless we do it right. Now, in order for my sleeve to stick, I'm going to punch two holes into it so that I can tie it up. And I have my little twine here, <laughs> two holes. So let's continue with the fiddle. I really like little things like this. If I can try and implement them, make them happen to see how it works out. So thank you, Michael McCarthy, for the inspiration. I was not going to even address this fan. I was going to see what it was going to do, let it go. I was going to just sacrifice it. But, you know, sometimes we have slipper orchids that are not cheap and we can't be so generous as to say, yeah, not bothered. So if this works, there's future in slipper orchids and their growth bolting. And we're all going to be a little bit more wiser afterwards. I have to say I'm a little relieved that the roots are a little bit dried out. Otherwise, I would be freaking out that I'm destroying active root tips. But seeing as they're dry, maybe they will reactivate or maybe this will trigger new roots to grow. What I'm doing here, as you can see, is kind of creating a pot above media level. And I want the base of the fan to be exactly as it would be in a pot, just low enough for roots to get into the media, which now is sphagnum moss, but not so low that I risk my fan rotting out. <laughs> what do you think? And now, you guessed it, we're going to make that sphagnum moss nice and wet. And then from here on in, it stays damp all the time. So this worked out a treat. It was coincidence, but I'm going to explain. Remember when at the beginning I said I'm going to make my sleeve tight around the stem? Well, I would have had a much, much harder time getting that moss damp if plastic were around it all the way around. So the fact that there is an opening here, I don't have to go into any other angles over here where it's really, really tight. I only have to worry about where the gap is and the moss will absorb everything. And then hopefully we should get some roots. So here's the one growth I'm hoping that will continue to grow. The other growth that was really tucked in tight is in the moss now. So we're probably going to lose that. But anyway, uh, that is part of collateral damage that we all have to somehow make a decision upon. What are we going to keep? What are we trying to achieve? How far are we prepared to go? I want to also now, just as a final thought, get rid of the leaves that are in here. More airflow. <laughs> that is a very, very damp area now. Normally, I do not take my leaves off when they're still green. I really do wait until they've gone very, very brown. <laughs> not to the point of going crispy, but brown enough. Under these circumstances, I think I'm much more comfortable by allowing more airflow in that area. Little side note, let them go really brown. There's a lot of energy in these leaves. And now we wait. <laughs> and observe and learn together. So if this wasn't helpful, or if it didn't give you some inspiration for a situation that you come across that is very, very similar, then at least I hope it was entertaining. But I want you to know that either way, I thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate your time and support. Watch the space is all I can say. Have yourself a beautiful day on that one condition, though please that you stay safe. Take care, bye.